How y'all doing, family? This is Chris Rod with Media TV, and I'm going to be coming to you with this news from, uh, I don't want to speak on, uh, OKC, OKC Thunder, um, when they went up against Portland last night, major disappointment, major disappointment, but that's what I expected, I expected, I expected them to lose, I expected them to lose, family. I expected them to lose because, bruh, why the fuck Russell Westbrook keep jacking up all these motherfucking threes? The man is shooting 10% from the three-point line in the fucking playoffs right now. That's the worst percentage in the whole fucking playoffs. Really, that's the worst percentage in the whole fucking league. You shooting 10%? Who the fuck you expect to beat? You're not beating nobody if you're shooting that poorly. The first game, okay, he shot 8 for 17. Uh, Paul George, he played a, a, a terrible game the first game. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. I think he would have shot like, what, 8 for 24 or some bullshit like that? He jacked up so many fucking threes. He jacked up like 15 threes the first game against Portland. Second game, he came back and, you know what I'm saying, bounced back. Had it. He was uh, 11 for 20. You know what I'm saying? So he bounced back. He had like 27 points. Uh, Steven Adams, he had about what? Uh, I think what he, he had like, like 14 points or some shit like that. I don't know. But he had 14 points. He shot 7 of 8. So, yeah, yeah, he had like 14 points. So, Russ had 14 points as well, I believe. So, yeah, man, like, come on, man. Russ, you got to do way better than that, bro. You got to do better than that, man. You can't be getting in no damn individual battle, one-on-one battle in the middle of a fucking game, man. Are you trying to win? Are you trying to play the man that's in front of you, man? You, you're not playing on teams if you're trying to do an individual battle. Come on, man. But like I said, I expected this shit because this 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 was been happening for the last two other years. The first year when Kevin Durant left, and he said, "Man, I can't win a championship with Russell." And all of the players are saying the exact same thing. Russell Westbrook is overrated. It, 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 it just proves it. This proves it. He get he didn't average three triple doubles for three complete seasons. And where has it gotten him? Nowhere. They got them bounced out of the first round. That, that, that's not nothing. That's not nothing. Last year, you had three superstars. At least super, at least all stars. You had Russ, you had Paul George, you had Carmelo, but they didn't use Carmelo right. They didn't use Carmelo right. They fucked over Carmelo bad. Now, I didn't like how the way they did that shit. They fucked over Carmelo bad, man. That was just completely fucking wrong, man. But you know what? They can't blame Carmelo now. They can't blame him now. Because you know why? He's not there. So it's all on Russ and Paul George. But see, ain't nobody blaming Paul George, though. Ain't nobody blaming Playoff P. <laughs> That's what he called himself last year, Playoff P. Skip called his ass George Paul. Like I said, like I said, they're going to get bounced out of the first round again. Again. Then what's the excuse when they get bounced out of the first round? And then how the fuck you going to get bounced out of the first round against Portland that don't even have the be they best big man that's playing right now, Nurkic. 
Like, come on, man. But like I say, OKC better trade Russ ASAP after the fucking playoffs. They better, they, bro, they better trade him ASAP. They need to trade him ASAP. Just some kind of value, some kind of value that's still left on it, left on him. Because if they don't, it's gonna be a redundant situation every year. They're only gonna be good. They're only gonna be good in the regular season. He's gonna average another triple double. And they're gonna get bounced out again next year. If they don't trade him. You go down 02. And you already know, family. Game three. And OKC, you know he's going to jack up a million fucking shots. You know he's going to jack up a million shots. You know he's feeling some kind of way. You know he's feeling some kind of way. And he don't give a fuck what nobody says. But see, that be the main thing that uh, Russ have a problem with. Russ don't want to listen to nothing. You don't want to listen to nothing. You don't want to listen to nobody. I'm not saying you should listen to somebody. But if somebody's giving you great advice on, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? You need to change up your game a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Stop jacking up a million fucking threes because you're not a fucking shooter, man. You ain't hitting shit. You're shooting 10% from the three-point line. That's terrible. Who the fuck want a a, a point a, a, a shooting guard that's masqueraded as a uh as a point guard shooting 10%? You can't win with nobody like that. You can't win with nobody like that. But Russ don't give a fuck. They need to get Steven Adams. More involved, man. This man only took like eight shots the last game. Eight fucking shots. Shooting seven of eight. They need to get this man more involved, man. That's unacceptable for Steven Adams to get only eight shots. He's more productive than Russell Westbrook. Come on, man. But, like I say, family, they're going to lose. I got a feeling they either going to lose game three close or they might win it extra close by a point or two. You feel me? But I still see them losing probably in what? Four or five games. If it ain't four, it's five games. But y'all let me know what y'all think, family. Subscribe to the channel, smash the like button. I'll be back with another one.